Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks like it's going to be another nice one tonight through tomorrow, but going into the weekend, big changes on the way. So let's get into it and talk about it. First off, though, we have a drone shot for you today, and it was a beauty out there today. Some high level cirrus clouds, lots of sunshine late this afternoon, and those high clouds awfully thin, and they'll thin out a little bit overnight tonight, and they'll pick back up again tomorrow. In fact, we'll see more high clouds as the day wears on, especially later in the day. But overall, beautiful beautiful day across Acadiana under the influence of an upper level ridge of high pressure and a nice dry northwesterly flow aloft. But here's the next big weather maker. It's uh, moving into the Pacific Northwest at upper levels. It's going to be a major winter storm for the season and it's going to bring a cold front, but no snow toward Acadiana as we head into Saturday and it's going to certainly feel like winter going into Sunday. And we'll talk more about the snows in just a bit. First off, though, winter storm warnings for the upper portions of the Midwest. No totals here are going to be up to a foot in spots. Winter storm watches beginning to pop up even up through uh, portions of the western mountains of North Carolina and you're going to see a lot more by this time tomorrow for sure and they'll eventually go from winter storm watches to winter storm warnings. More on that in just a bit. For us though clear skies across the area and that's the way it should go overnight tonight. Chilly conditions again tonight. Light west northwest winds will diminish so temperatures drop nicely into the lower 40s by tomorrow morning and and then tomorrow, mostly sunny and mild day should be a nice one. Some high level cirrus clouds out there and temperatures a few degrees milder than this afternoon. We were at right around 6970 for the official high. Haven't gotten the official reading in yet. Hopefully we'll have that for you at six. But here comes the next weather maker. Low pressure system is going to be pushing rapidly to the east. Now we're going to see scattered showers out ahead of this front, but just more nuisance showers. We're not expecting any thunderstorms, so that is the good news. There could be a severe weather threat farther to the east down the line, but for us, mild conditions early Saturday and that front pushing on through right around mid morning. So we'll see our high temperatures in the morning and maybe some shower activity following behind this system. And then as we head into Sunday, windy and much colder and you can see some snow wrapping around the northwestern flank of this system, but that's going to mainly impact Arkansas and northern Mississippi, maybe touch northeast Louisiana, but we're not expecting any snow flurries here. And look at this by Sunday morning, temperatures in the 30s, wind chills in the 20s. Now, here's the graph model for snowfall. This just gets us through the next 72 hours or so through Sunday morning. So there could be some snow flurries northeastern Louisiana, maybe as far south as, say, Jackson, Mississippi, but not accumulating snow. That's going to be farther north and east. And a quick look at the GFS and the Euro model both pretty much show the same thing with uh, six inches to a foot of snow here in the upper Midwest. And then more than that foot or more in spots across the spine of the Appalachians into Pennsylvania upstate New York and then uh, through portions of New England as well. But here, don't get your hopes up for any kind of winter precipitation anytime soon for that matter. Lower 40s overnight tonight, then for tomorrow, back into the lower 70s. Enjoy the mild weather because it's going to be uh, uh, quite numbered as we head into Saturday. We stay in the 50s through Saturday morning and then get close to 70 degrees early, but we're going to see temperatures dropping quickly. Here are the readings by 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon wind chills getting into the 30s temperatures dropping smartly Saturday afternoon Saturday evening and into Saturday night into the mid 30s come Sunday morning and those wind chills will be in the upper 20s and they're going to stay in the 30s most of the day Sunday so certainly winter will be back across the area chilly night tonight clear skies light winds maybe a few patches of fog by morning we saw a few out there this morning no reason to think why we can't see that again tomorrow morning 73 the high tomorrow nice finish to the week with some high clouds coming in late in the day, but overall good looking day ahead. And then as we head into Saturday, I have rain chances at 60%, mainly morning showers, but a few early afternoon, but by later in the day, it should be drier than windy, much colder temperatures heading down into the mid thirties for Sunday and Monday mornings. I uh, could see a light freeze portions of Acadiana come Monday morning, but in Lafayette, probably not nice day for MLK day with temperatures rebounding nicely to 60 and another mild trend as we head through the middle part of next week before the next front arrives and then another chill down as we finish out the week. All in all, a January looking pattern. And if you're going to take a day off this week, tomorrow is the day. God well.